yeah. First oh, wave. they all made it. Second wave. Oh, one player is dead. Third wave. Oh, two of them are dead. Fourth yeah, yeah, wave. Yeah. Oh, but th remaining three are badly injured. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> all right, I'm recording right now. Uh, so th to make up for my lateness, because for once I am late and everyone else here is. On I know. Time. Great shot got here before you. I know. Yeah. That shouldn't yeah. happen. <laughs> yeah. I, I should note, I might have to leave. We are boiling water at the moment, so I'm helping. Ah. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. You're how, are you guys Grisha, how are you guys holding up? Doing okay? Uh, we lost water yesterday, and now we're just, right oh, now shit. we're boiling water to fill the toilets, and then boiling water to drink. So, yes. Okay. Mm. Nate, going, 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 it's about as solid as it can get. It should be... It's we had water last night briefly. There was like horrible gas sounds coming out of the sinks because the pumps. I assume that the pumps had like stopped, uh, and then air got into the pipes. And then you know when I was pushing everything out, it was well doing exactly that. Ooh. Uh, but yeah, no, it was. I mean, it's been a, it's been a time. Let's just say that. <laughs> Uh, uh, that sucks, man. But at least you guys are holding yeah. up, all right? Yeah. 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 yeah no, like we we've been in definitely the luckier situations, but it's uh, yeah. If, if I do have to go, it, you know, just a heads up, because like, yeah, I've, we're pretty sure we haven't lost power yet, mainly because it's been um, we've been, we're on the same line as the hospital, so. Okay, so there's a silver lining right there. Yeah, it's a, it's been spotty, but yeah, no, I, I've again, I, I, I have, I've been in worse storms. It just Texas hasn't hasn't experienced something like this. Yeah, the thing, like from what I've heard, it's not like this is a particularly bad snowstorm by like the standards of the north. It's just like by Texas standards, it's real bad. Yeah, uh, Pennsylvania has over two thousand ice trucks. I'm from Pennsylvania, like just for anyone that doesn't know. Um, I'm from Pennsylvania originally, and they have over 2,000 trucks. Meanwhile, the state population, I think, is like 12 million, and it's, you know, it, there's mostly three major cities, right? And there's a lot of suburbs. You, got, you know, uh, regardless, uh, all of the state of Texas, is, you know, a state that is far larger, I think three times, four times the population. Yeah, it's got, uh, it's got 30. 30, I Oh, my guess. gosh. <laughs> Jesus. What are you doing? Damn. Over, what are you doing? Okay. Yeah, no, like I said, like, the. Yo, is that my completely agree. Joe, stop watching the Nintendo. No. no. Oh, you know what would have been even better? If a Monster Hunter rep got in instead of another <laughs> anime <laughs> character. That'd be cool. Speaking of Monster Hunter, the trailer's playing for that right now in the direct. <laughs> oh, no, Black Diablo. That, that, that's it's, why it's on it, Monster it, Hunter. It, 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 <laughs> it's, it's horny while it fights. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, I still can't believe Kaiju X didn't know what in heat meant. He just thought it meant like in the daylight. <laughs> okay, so do you think anyone's gonna write for Rathalos? Maybe uh, already so... submitted his match. Yeah, his yeah. match. Yeah, uh, I mean, other than yeah. us. Yeah, actually, yes, because uh, Gigantus is writing that. Ah. Like he posted. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Didn't Gigantus say? Oh, Rathalos would be pointless because they're just going to get killed by the military. Yeah, he I did. I think so, yeah. That's funny. Ah, <laughs> uh, the irony. The irony. Dang it. Alright. Booting up the... KWC pages, which there are four matches we need or gonna go over. Uh, Don't forget the KWC E. Yes, I have not forgotten the KWC. None of them good. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow, <laughs> great shot. The really? You're going there already? Yeah, yeah the awards. <laughs> I got the awards. Yeah, yeah, I mean, obviously, right, yeah, 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 the survey too. Do you guys want to do the awards first in case Grayshot has to leave early? Yeah, that because I that's think that would be a good call. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, I think that would be for the best because because it's like there's no guarantee we're going to have Grayshot throughout the whole thing, and I do have him here because of the awards. So we'll, we're going to do that first. So 
Hello, everyone, and welcome again to this month's KWCC. Uh, happy Valentine's Day for those that celebrate it, you know, whatever, whatever. Uh, I am your host, Kaiju X, and with me today, I have Grayshot, GVR, Alex, Joe, and Nagoda. And today, we're actually not going to... Before we dive into the matches, we have... Because we don't know how long Grayshot's going to be here, uh, we have the KWC Awards to cover. Uh, and we will be announcing sort of the results and I guess sort of like the decisions, the the, the like the decision making behind it and yada yada yada. So, uh, Grayshot, you take the stage there, buddy. <laughs> okay. So, yes, we had the awards and we had plenty of submissions, so appreciate everyone that contributed. Uh, for this particular, uh, Excuse me. For this year, we uh, didn't really have too many changes of categories. I think the only new one was the best banners, less artist creation of 2020. Um, but yeah, minus that, they were pretty much all the same from last year. So let's just dive into it. So the five best writers, Andrew came out on top, followed by myself, which I honestly don't believe I deserve, mainly because oh, I think, honestly, because I think there's <clears throat> 300 involved. Because then there's Matthew Freese with them uh, probably off the back of 313. Uh, Nagoda or Dao Zeng Ma uh, coming out at 300. Uh-huh. And then Michael Allen at number five. I am flattered to be number three. <laughs> hey, you earned it, buddy. Yeah, Hell man. Hell yeah. They're, they're lying, <laughs> but, you know, they're being. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, if, if, if we were lying, we would all. be going, to be honest. <laughs> Dude, like being in the top five, if I had been like, if you had told me like, oh, by the way, Matthew, you got number six, I would still be like over the moon. <laughs> uh, well, um, yeah, the, huh, uh, I, so the other reason why Kaiju X wants me to hear early is because right now Texas is experiencing very bad times and I actually can't access the, the type form data because they can't, I'm guessing the servers are without power. Oh, God. oh really? Oh, no. Oh, oh damn. Oh, no. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys the air. This is great. I can't, oh my gosh, that, wow. Wow. Yes, I know, I'm... We're not going to like see the no, survey stuff. I mean, I my account. <laughs> so I guess we'll just have to go with what's public. I guess next month we'll have to look at the survey results. I, guess, I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to that. I mean, a little yeah, too late, but yeah, or at least uh, maybe in the uh, like maybe as soon as Gray Shock you get access to them, I could post in the description. Yeah, that works. Yeah. yeah. Or just, like, edit the video itself and, like, throw them all in at the end. Maybe, yeah. So, yeah, uh, regardless of that, I guess I'll just go with what was publicly announced on Toho Kingdom. Um, So, for the five best KWC matches, match 313, Bagan versus Kingador Legendary was the top contender. Followed by match 300, Gamera Hesai versus everyone. Then at number third, we had Anguir Shoah versus Anguir 2001, which was match 281. At number four, we had match 285, Godzilla Legendary versus Zilla. And then at, or sorry, yeah. And then at match uh, fifth place, we had match 3 through 18, Sanda and Gata versus Attack Titan and Armor Titan. Hell yeah. I have a, yeah, yes, I'm in the top five. Match. Actually, a question about that. I know um, you said the results are down because of the, well, more or less for Grayshaw, because of everything going on. I remember the last time you showed us that, like, 3, 4, and 5 were all basically in a third-place tie. Do you remember if that was still the case, or were there any last-minute votes? No, thoughts? that was pretty much still the case. There, were, there, I mean, there were still lat votes, but they were all, like, neck, neck, neck. Like, one was a clear winner, then it was followed by second, and then in third place, it was tied by... Between those, but those three? Yes. They were all, like, uh, yeah, they were all right there. So it was still well, it was still close. It was just, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, did anyone have any comments or anything? Any surprising notes for this category? Um, 
You know, I, I feel like strangely humbled that that many people voted for 281. Uh, and I'm kind of happy for it. <laughs> yeah. It's a really good one. Yeah. Again, I'm still blown away that 313 won. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a really good match. Yeah. I, again, you got to go. Listen, people. I, I think this is also a testament of, like, when it comes to people's favorite monsters. There was a uh, a gentleman, I think it was Alex the Hunted or Up in the Depths, one of the Godzilla YouTubers. He did a massive poll with, and he did, like, thousands of people on which monsters were their favorites. And Quirus was number three, and King Ghidorah was number one. So, I th- looking at it with that little bit of context, this actually doesn't surprise me too much, because it's like, oh yeah, King Ghidorah, legendary, like, an awesome, badass Ghidorah everyone, like, loved, you know. It, the most recent one. He's in an amazing, yeah, throw that with an amazing match, like, again, a Quirus show up versus Quirus 2001, and you have a recipe for, like, you know, some, yeah, but- uh, some good views. And yeah, so it well, got a lot of views, and then the actual quality of the match was enough to make people remember it. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and then like I think that's another reason why like Godzilla Legendary Brazil is up here because Jack Jordan does is is a fantastic writer. Great so, story. Yeah. That one. Yep. And then yeah, you had three eighteen, which I think has the opposite end of the spectrum, which is monsters less people are aware of or want to see in the KWC, but it had such a good story and good pacing, good characters that. He made it to the top five. Because, like, consistently in the survey so far, like, people want... There seems to be a sizable number of people who want the Titans retired, but, like, the fact that this was still able to get in the top five is impressive. Yeah, top five, top three. Yeah, Yeah, that is amazing. Just a testament to the match itself. (laughs) Yeah, I think... I Again, not trying to put anyone else's Titans... Titan matches down, but... I think uh, someone made the point, like, usually in all the other Titan matches, they just focus on the five characters, Eren, Mikasa, Armin, Kubal, and Shikishima. I think I think mine and Kaiju X's match helped because it's primarily set in the Attack on Titan universe. You have all the characters, you have all the Titans. So I think this match is definitely going to help a lot of people be more appreciative of the Titan franchise, and maybe... Hopefully, you know, like, say, um, you know what, look, I'll give them another chance. I don't want to retire them anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping that's the case with that match. Right, right. just like with mm-hmm. uh, Jakiro's, like, upshoot. Like, the thing I remember from the behind-the-scenes poll was Jakiro's upshoot of matches that we had this year. And all of a sudden, he went from number one because he didn't have any more matches aside from 195 to not even in the top ten. Because it was like, yeah, no, he had awesome matches. People gave him a chance, and they were like, you know what? He's worth keeping around. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Also, for the top five matches, I am a bit disappointed. 299 should have been there. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. That's such a great match. Maybe Agreed. it's number six. I oh, yeah. Know. Yeah, I, the, if I can get access to it, I will let you guys know what's underneath, but... Uh, I don't think it was too far behind. Okay. But man, two, yeah, 299, That's that was definitely my favorite up there for this year along with 313. Oh yeah, no, it's hard It's hard to choose a favorite at so many oh, matches. <laughs> I just got access. It, 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 <gasps> Ooh. Oh. Okay, so yeah, now, okay. Going to the oh. summary page, I am, I'm going as fast as possible. Um, Alright, cool. No, you could just, like, send the link things to me, uh, friggin'. Yeah, yeah, I will... I will, yeah, send the I'll send pictures your way. I was just saying, like, oh, uh, the fact I'll that po- I'll just post it in the uh, I'll just post it in the uh, in the KWC stack. All right. I feel like, given the fact that uh, the three, four, and five were pretty much all tied, that does make me think that like. The rest of the match, okay, 299 was... Uh... Yeah, as you can see, 299 wasn't too far behind. I think it was 7th place? 7th hmm. place. 7th or 8th. Or, yeah, since... Well, actually, yeah, since 3, 4, and 5 are basically the same, I guess. Yeah, I guess, well, it still wouldn't make the top 5. It'd be number 6 by yeah. that logic. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. 
Yeah, you know, like if three, four, and five are pretty much like all time, that would technically make two ninety nine the sixth place. Huh. So I guess I wasn't wrong to say it was in sixth place in hindsight. <laughs> oh damn! I think mine was the least rated camera mat month match. Damn. <laughs> well, I mean, damn. I don't think this is all of them. I think it's just simply the top whatever. Oh, no, he's talking about gamma the month. gamma month. I just made this a nicer picture, but oh yeah, for the gamma month, yeah, probably. Uh, damn. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, they're on that close though. Like gamma month, I think this was the gamma month was the best. Uh, Specialized month we've had in the KWC by far. Oh yeah, agreed. Mm -hmm. Yep, people love okay. Gamera. So, and at least two of the claw, mean... two of the Titan matches did well. At least, or three? No, three. I have no eight. Dang it! That's right. Armor Titan, uh, Gamera versus Armor Titan was Gamera month. <laughs> well, on a side note, I'll also post the top ten for the writers uh, right now. Okay. So sweet, we can uh, we could uh, swoop back through and uh, take it for the top. <laughs> Let's see who else was below yeah. Michael if, Allen. If, 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 if it's any consolation, GVR, your gamma match was my second favorite of the themed month. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, speaking of uh, Joe, actually, oh, snap. hey, you made it, Joe. <laughs> I'm happy to be. At number 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I can't believe you got beat by Brit Boy. Damn. Actually, I'm surprised. At least, Birdman at, least I made, that at least I got... At least I got more than M.M. Good. <laughs> Did those tie with Tom? Man. What world is You're right. <laughs> I'm surprised world. I got so high up. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It was tied with Tom. You never think it's dead. <laughs> what, the, what kind of universe are we in? Uh, yeah. Wow, did those three short matches went up against uh, Tom's big match? It's like watching three midgets fight a normal. <laughs> <laughs> well, they obviously were in a trench coat, right? They had to be in a trench coat. Oh, they, oh, they have to. <laughs> Stacked on each other. <laughs> Yeah, no, below Michael Allen, we have Landed Soto and Thomas Fairchild tied. Uh, so that's kind of a shocker. Hey, Kai 2X. Apparently, I was part of 316 with you two. <laughs> 316? No, 316. 318. Wait. No, 316's yours, Nagoda. 315 was me and Is 316 mine? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, that is mine. I misread it. Never mind. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Nagoda, do you need Nagoda? Do you have? I mixed. Yeah. I misread the numbers. <laughs> Though I am missing. I was looking at. I was looking at three eighteen. Nagoda, wear your glasses. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. But yeah, no. Uh, yeah, Tom, Landon, God, and Thomas one. are tied. Uh, below them are is Cl Connor Clonell, aka our beloved Birdman. Uh, just a step below him is James Webster, who wrote Match Two Ninety, and then a step below him is Joseph Steiner Jr., aka our beloved Joe. So all things considered, it was like, yeah, I know it's pretty. Except, even... Yeah, it only keeps my, up. Yeah, except only... my tenth place. My participation medal. <laughs> oh, that means all the ladies will say, Joe, you're the only 10 I see. <laughs> <laughs> well, in regards to speaking of original people, uh, here are the, the top 10 most original uh, KWC matches. I see uh, what you did there. Now, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I, my segues, I've been practicing writing them and uh, working, you know, so, uh, but uh, no, regardless. Um, <clears throat> Began and Guiris and uh, or sorry, I, sh I should just say 313, 281, 311 I announced on the site, but now you can see the full 10 list on the top, and actually I think there were some surprises on here, like Jakira versus Griffin, or Reiwa versus Maguma. Hmm. I wouldn't right. consider Reiwa versus <laughs> Maguma original. <laughs> uh, no, MM's done it like five times. <laughs> but I'd say the, ex the kill was at least that. Hey, original, I suppose, but like original does not equal good. Yes, thank you, GBR. That is a plus, very plus. Good he basically movie. ripped off a movie. Oh yeah. I mean, don't we all? Uh, we all, we all rip off movies, don't you know? They're called yeah, homages. But, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, those are called homages. MM just straight up rips, rips them <laughs> off. I'm glad two eighty five did well. 
that one that was nice and original with the whole like sub adult Zillas. Yeah, yeah, no, I I expected that one to be higher. I'm, yeah. I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, no, I'm. Yeah, no, so below, yeah, top three was yeah, three eleven was under like three most original KWCs. Uh, yeah, below that is match three hundred, Gamma Heisei versus everyone, uh, followed by match three eighteen, uh, Gargantuas versus Titans, and then uh, match two eighty eight, uh, Shin Godzilla versus Maguma, two eighty five, Godzilla versus Legendary, two ninety six, Gamma versus Kiru, two ninety four, Chikiro versus Griffin, and which is also tied with uh, two ninety nine, Gamma, Godzilla versus Gamma round two. So, hey, it's at least up here. At least. 313 literally won every award it was a candidate for. Spoilers. <laughs> yeah, two, also, I'm amazed 299 didn't get higher on the most original thing. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, Harley oh, yeah. did some really good job. Oh, wow. Yeah. Actually, she's, not, she's not on the writer's list. What? Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. No, I don't think she is. Uh, yeah, I know. In the like original Damn, writers. That's sexist. No, no, I mean, like, she is listed. She's not in that top ten. She, like, not I just, in the top like, ten, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh that's what I'm saying. God, that, wow, is, that is... that's... Oh, that is disheartening. I hope she does better this year with her latest match, which we'll get to. <laughs> yes. <laughs> GBR, the forms just hate women. <laughs> Damn. Because <laughs> she wrote a fantastic match last year. <laughs> also, yeah, the uh, banner creators, uh, this one's not close. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> this is a nightmare. <laughs> oh no, yeah, it was an absolute slaughter. Uh, <laughs> some other rather than the others. Uh, I will say, I think Nagoda was stole uh, was robbed of this category personally. Third place is Oh yeah. Would I beat Titano? Ow. I'm keeping consistent in placing throughout the years. I, well, I mean. That's the thing. I think, uh, w with the exception of a soul, I think the top three are very obvious. Yeah. Like, yeah. for every year. Mm -hmm, right. Because it's like, even if I, like, I'm sure even if I made less banner, like two banners in a year or something, you know, that's not going to happen. It's like, I'm all, I, I, like, I don't, I don't want to say it's abundance of banners, but holy crap, I didn't realize I made that many. What the heck? How time flies. <laughs> uh yeah, because if I recall correctly, I know I voted for the top three for the banner stuff. Yeah. Why did eight people vote for me? Because <laughs> <laughs> they're a pretty cool dude. Uh, uh yeah, I mean, I, I think there are some notes, like some people, the people that obviously did, I mean, like, banner or two for just didn't get the votes. <laughs> Because uh, he did make the one, I, again, that one banner did have, like, was a bit more memorable, I think. Because yeah, it just banner, it ripped out the banner. It, yeah, because it, 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 it was an imitation of the poster. So it was very memorable. It's like, oh, yeah, the one that looks like the poster. Mm -hmm. Right. So I think people I just sort of gravitate to that. Even if I did, like, help with that one on the side. So it's like, eh. Yep. So technically, those 11 votes go to me. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> no, you don't need more. <laughs> <laughs> You got 73 votes. <laughs> You're already in first place. G yeah, I know. GBR's going to say his time will come this year, and then by the time the new awards come on, Kaichu X is still going to beat him. <laughs> <laughs> well, in regards to the next vote, uh, this was for the Please Pick the Best Custom Banner Artist Creation of 2020. Uh, this one was uh, more of a steal than the other. So darn shame that uh, yeah no darn shame we don't we didn't have any Jackson matches this year or Jackson banners this year. Oh yeah, so, oh yeah. Curious to see how well he would have done. Is he okay? Um. Uh no, I I think Jackson uh, Moore's dead. He was absorbed by life. <laughs> Damn. Damn. The cosmic forces have taken him to a greater plane of existence because he used their black magic too much. <laughs> Not wrong. Uh, but yes, uh, in regards to the banner creation, Kristen Gonzalez, I think, got this. And I think this was much more of a... 
I think this this win makes a lot of sense when you think about uh, the type of match that was done, right? Because the the match itself uh, had like Godzilla and Gamera fighting. There's two ninety nine, and I think that was a bit more uh, eye popping than than than, than just Gamera standing in fire. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it looks good, but then it's not as dynamic as. Yeah. Fire versus Atomic Ray. Yeah. So, unfortunately, that's just rather... Unfo- I, mean, if, I think if EJ Su were given full creative range of making, like, an alternate banner similar to Nagoda's, I think we would have had something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Still, at least a sizable, a sizable number of people did at least vote for him, so I'm glad it's not like... Like, obviously, Christian Gonzalez was winning this one, but... I am glad that, it, like, EJ Su wasn't, like, completely demolished. Yeah, I think it's also the fact that it's a GIF, so, like, it doesn't get to stay on that image. It, like, swaps over to the Nagoda's banner. Yeah. Yeah. So that one didn't help either, in that, I'd say. Or maybe people voted for it because it was the GIF. Because it was like, oh, yeah, no, it was all part of a really cool banner. And I don't know if so. Some people may not have understood that it's like he didn't make the bunch of monsters portion of the banner just the drawing <laughs> so who knows i don't know i, I don't know that would have been cool to see but yeah anyway uh it would have been expensive but <laughs> oh yeah that would have been expensive but cool yes <laughs> yeah well it taken months to do the uh, 300 would have been delayed forever but cool <laughs> <laughs> Well, in regards to the next banners, let me post uh, for the best banners of 2020. There we go. So 313 took the lead. 310, Bagora versus Muto Prime was second. And at number third was 318. But for the rest, you can kind of see there was a wide range. I think actually on this top list, even though, uh, Andrew, I I, I don't think you made the banner. Or maybe you did. Uh, I think you have the most on this, comparatively speaking. Oh, yeah, most, like, banners made? I yes. think so. Because, yeah, I made the banner for 310, uh, yeah, 313, 310, 381, 385, 290, 315. Yeah. Yeah, comparatively speaking, I made six of these banners. <laughs> Comparatively speaking, yes, I made them all. Go on. <laughs> so, but yeah, no, below, yeah, below the top three, which would be number three, would be 318. Woohoo! Ditto was Yay! super worth. That is a damn good banner. Yay! So, it is. Uh, but below that. Joe, read our Kino. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh,. So below 318 at the number three spot, uh, number four ranks as 281, then 311, 285, 290, 285 and 290 are tied. Uh, then it's 315, 288, and 296. So, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I don't think there were any yeah. true surprises. But Gore vs. Muta Prime definitely deserved to be on this list. It was uh, arguably a contender for number one. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, that looks cool. I definitely say the top three banners are worthy of their spot. Like, I don't want to, yeah, I, I don't want to come off as like egotistical or nothing. But it's just like you know, I love three tens, freaking like you know, sound wave cracking screen, freaking shock wave burst. Uh, I think three thirteen came out really well, and then three eighteen is just fantastic, like super dynamic, like you know action with that one so it's yeah no i think the top i think the top three spot top three ma- uh, banners make perfect sense to be here oh yeah no yeah. one voted for 317's banner <laughs> <laughs> i mean joe joe made a really good banner with that one i wish it was number one. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that oh, was yeah. awesome joe's version <laughs> But yeah, uh, did we have any additional comments or is <laughs> I, mean, I don't really think there's much to say. 
Yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the the banner. Unless you guys have any other surprises. Kinda, Ray, what kind of makes sense? Because kind of wish, uh, kind of wish, kind of wish three, three, four, fourteen was in here. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. That that banner was better than the match it was made for. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can hold that against the match though. So. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, this is a clear landslide. Oh lord! Ooh, oh geez. man! Holy moly! Yeah, I know people freaking wow! Ah. <clears throat> oh yeah, for the okay. So the next one is new monster or four. Anguirus two thousand one was the winner, and yeah, again, it was by a landslide. People like their Anguirus. Mm -hmm. Right. It pretty much doubles the second place being Mudo Prime, which. Yeah, no, Mudo Prime was well utilized. I like that, but freaking, uh, yeah, no, and you see that for only appearing one match, he's just like, more! <laughs> I will, yeah, he absorbs and he's like, I will become all. <laughs> Which again, makes sense, and yeah, it's, I think, deserve it. Mudo Prime being second, I think, also, uh, makes sense, and then I, I, I think Griffin pr probably did have the weakest of the bunch. I feel I, the actual... Actually, no, no, Armor Mothra. Armor, Armor Mothra, Mothra, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, deserve I, better. Leo's forms deserve yeah. better. Yeah, no, absolutely, yeah. Armor Mothra was the weakest executed of the bunch. I personally feel like Griffin... Uh, again, it I, I know it's both... so much. Right, right, I, I know... I know, like, the voting doesn't say, but actual Griffin match, I feel like was like you know that incredibly well utilized the griffin's abilities and like you know kept it even with jakiro in that one so in such a way that makes sense yeah griffin's debut match was excellent mm -hmm. indeed griffin had a good debut match like the use of like jakiro's like magnet like what's it called like his anti-meteor might anti -meteor to absorb might, like yeah. a missile mm -hmm. yeah and how, like, Griffin just kept healing all the damage to, like, just push on and keep fighting. Right. Or even, that was a good match. Or even just the way he was finished off, too. It's like, yeah, no, it's like, mm -hmm. this creature is not organic. It's mechanic. It's like, operated under the logic of it being mechanical. It's like, ooh, that was a very fun way to... Yeah, I know. There were some elements of Griffin I didn't even think about until that match was uh, was written. It was like, oh, yeah, no, like, the, the probe is, like, inside it. It's like, ooh, that... Somehow makes a lot of sense. Because <laughs> it's like, where does the probe go? It clearly sort of just disappears after the Griffin's made. So I was like, huh. That's a very that's a very creative workaround for that. But yeah, no, out of out of these, I think Armor Moth or Aqua Moth or execution within the match is the weakest. I think that can be pretty much stated by everyone here, at least everyone in the podcast. If you feel, if you feel otherwise, hey, you know that's you. But uh, they deserve a better care. debut. Yeah. But yeah, freaking uh. Yeah, I know. Angus two thousand one's the landslide. Then Mudo Prime, Mothra Millennium, Behemoth, Godzilla Trilopod, the Armor Titan, Armor Aqua Mothra, and Griffin. In the yeah, the top the top three makes the most sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What can I say? I had fun with Millennium Mothra. Yeah, again, I I, mean, I think those were just the best uses of their debuts. Mm -hmm. uh, but, speaking of uses, uh, next up is the three best uses of Kaiju in a KWC match in 2020. And in regards to what I posted, it was 313, 281, and 300. But, as you can see, people definitely were a little undecided and, and diminishing returns had a little bit of a breakdown with 311 being next. Then 318 being number fifth in the fifth spot. Uh, in the sixth spot, we had Jakiro versus Griffin, or 294. In seventh, we had 285. In eighth, we had 290, which was the Monster X versus Spyler and Wargogar. Number nine was 310, Bagora versus Mito Prime. And at number 10, 288, Godzilla Raywell well versus Maguma. Ew. How is that one? Like, I understand it's like in top 10, the lower echelon. How does it keep making these lists? <laughs> Because I, I like, I'm gonna be honest. I actually because really like the execution did. of the monster, and I think people also did. Right. Like it used, it, 
It was a tired trope, yes, but it, in regards to its execution, it was better done than, like, Monster X versus, I don't know, Gabra. Gabra. Okay, you know what? That's fair. I'll give that to you. Uh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll give you that one, because it's like, yeah, no, it's like, it's definitely that element is, yeah, I know, ex- compared to the others, yeah, I know, I do at least agree that it's better executed here than some of the others. So, yeah, I think so I did we're saying this. a solid shit is better than diarrhea? Is yeah. that the case? Yeah, yeah. Totally, you, yes. <laughs> yes, you absolutely want to take a solid shit over diarrhea, right? <laughs> I don't know, they feel like the same to me at this point. Dude, you must have had not Damn. enough diarrhea in your life. Dude, I have diarrhea every day. <laughs> Alex, are you okay? <laughs> Yeah, I'm in constant pain. How do you think I made that comparison? Alex, Battle for Earth isn't that bad. Calm down. <laughs> yes, it was, GVR. Stop sipping for the 90s. <laughs> Stop sipping for Beam Wars. Uh, right, later on, we're gonna have a talk about Battle for Earth. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> but anyway, uh... yeah, interrupt the movie for Battle for Earth. Yeah, that too. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, maybe on to three best use of human or alien characters. Maybe no, no, okay. <laughs> but GVR, you won. No, that we're one. just gonna skip that. No one cares about the humans. The humans. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how many 313 won. <laughs> Dude, uh, did you not hear me? It won everything it could. <laughs> it's literally like 190 that one year. Yeah. Dang it, I'm going to have to make my Yog quadrilogy good now. 313 quality. <laughs> All right, great shot. Read them down. Read it, gay shot. Don't be shy, buddy. Come on. Oh, I was muted that whole time. Yeah, yeah, you uh, were. Damn. Uh, oh, you know what? The corgi pulled the wire. That's why. Uh, oh. Uh, so, uh, yeah, she's she's being a little rumble. She just got her cone off today, so she had surgery last Friday, and now she got her cone off. Uh, yeah, they, they do that when they get the cone off. They're free. They're, they're, yeah. they're borking and running. They're just like, ah, finally. It's like Goku without the weighted art. You know, 10,000 years, they're free. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, oh, I've been training for a week with this weighted armor, and now I'm <laughs> so fast. <laughs> uh, but yes, 313, number one, 318, number two, 311, number three, 296, Garen vs. Kira, number four. Match five was 290, Monstrikes vs. Spyler and Wargogar. Number six was match 300. Number seven was match 315, Godzilla Hesai vs. Colossal Titan. Match 8 was 316, Armored Titan vs. Trilopod. 9 was Garoran vs. Berlante, which was match 286. And at number 10, match 299, Godzilla Hesai vs. Gamera Hesai round 2. There it is! Another one! (laughs) I'm I'm surprised 300 is that high up, considering I just rushed those characters. Yeah, I was about to say, I didn't didn't really give them any thought. It was just like, okay, they're here, let's just do it. Like, they don't have a presence, really. Yeah, no, they're, they're exactly. not the focus. So, but you know, it's like you got it. I mean, you'd be surprised what people cling to. You'd be surprised what people cling to when it comes to that I'm, kind of thing. I'm, I'm amazed. Two ninety nine is at the bottom. At least I'm going to say at least two ninety nine is in the top ten. But though I am, I uh, really Ooh. would have liked it to be higher up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, two eighty six. I'm surprised got as high as it did. That's that's the more surprising thing I think is because I don't think the human characters in that really do anything different. Like the it's what the Exilians have Gororin and the humans just develop the antitoxin and that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the yeah the top wish, uh... three yeah the top three m- makes sense. I I think uh, three fifteen and two ninety nine should have been in the top five. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Yeah. Though it's also a little hard, because I think two, like two ninety also deserves that spot too, because it's like that one was also really good. Like, oh yeah, uh, yeah. Agreed. So it's 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 hard to say once you get to like, I fe- yeah I do agree that two ninety nine two three fifteen probably should have been at least above three hundred at least, because I think uh, like I like two ninety six, I like two ninety, you know, um, kind of surprised two ninety seven isn't uh two ninety seven isn't on here. Uh, I, I, what I will say is this is for specifically characters. 
So I can understand if someone like really enjoyed the writing of a character. Like, uh, I don't think the story of Harley's latest match is anything different, but I think the way like her characters were written is phenomenal. Like I, in regards to Mickey, right? I think there's like that kind of difference. Like there's nothing that unique in regards to the story. It's like, oh, giant monsters descending, warning, you know, and then sac- there's like a sacrifice. Yeah. But I think that the way the character is written is very captivating. And I think that's kind of what you're seeing here, especially with 313. I think people really like the priestess character in 313. And yeah, that kind of stuck out, especially with how that went. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or in 296, where it's a first person perspective of someone following the action. 290, I think, is also. 290 had X, I think, had one of his most, you know, best written. Uh, what else? I mean, 300 is just 300. I think it has enough clout that it's going to get itself <clears throat> on there. 315 has Kubal. 316 has, you know, Gordon. Mm-hmm. Uh, 286, I don't know that what that character is. And then obviously. Uh, she, she's from uh, the Dark Horse comics, y- uh, Yoshiwara. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, people like that, and then two ninety nine was oh, it's the narrator. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, uh, three eleven, three eleven. I don't think should be. I, I if I could switch anything, I'd switch. I think three fifteen is better than three eleven. But uh, that's my only. That's my only switcheroo I'd do for at least for my matches. <laughs> I, I would agree with that because three fifteen is very much a much more like character focused thing. And while three eleven characters were good, they weren't like. They were not as good as Kubal. Right. Yeah. 311's almost like, like I won't want to say like 300, but it's a step above 300 in the sense that like the characters are at least, it has characters in it, but they, it's like the focus is sort of like, you know, the invasion of Yogg kind of thing. It's like a, a red herring of Futurians that turns into Yogg invasion in a sense. And it's like the characters are there, they play a part, but they're more chess pieces than the, than the story being focused on them. Yeah, yeah I, but think, I, would say... I think I think they're better in regards to a, the story. Like the next one I just posted, three best stories slash narratives. I think three eleven is better on a story level, whereas a character level could ball in yeah. three fifteen. Oh yeah, 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 oh, without, yeah, a yeah. without a doubt. I would agree with that. Okay, so speaking of stories slash narratives, uh, boy, I'm really using this segue today. <laughs> uh, we have three thirteen at number one, three eighteen number two, three hundred at number three, three eleven at number four. 281 at number 5, 315 at number 6, 299 at number 7, 305 at number 8, 285 at number 9, and 290 at number 10. So, ooh, huh. So again, you don't need, you know, stupid humans for stories slash narratives, and I think that kind of shows with, like, the redemption of, like, in Greer Show and, you know, versus 2001. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, obviously, match 300 being as high as it is, or Godzilla Legendary versus Zilla. I think... You know, you can tell a good story, you, you know, with humans, like 313, you know, does with monsters and humans or just, you know, focusing on one or the other. Yeah. Which is another reason I think 305 is makes sense why it's up high. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. It's a conclusion yeah, yeah. to a trilogy. Yeah. Yeah. So do you guys have any uh, comments or, like, what you're surprised on this top 10? I think so far, like, a lot of these top 10s... No, I think these make sense. Yeah, yeah, these... All these... Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I can see all these being on here. It it makes perfect sense. Yeah. Okay, then. Let's jump over to the best new writer of 2020, which was Joshua Stripmatter. Dang. Wow, there were some real... I'm kind of surprised. It was kind of close. Yeah, no, I was expecting... I was expecting yeah. one of them to demolish the other, but no, it's actually pretty close. What the heck? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, Vincent Roger was like, again, Vincent Roger and Jake, I think Jake, for me, had the, for me, I think Jake, this one was another one. I was like, Jake probably got this for me because I think he did something a little different from Titanosaurus versus Mando when you think about those monsters and the story that was involved. I liked that a bit. Uh, but again, I'm not surprised that they're all really close. Like, mm-hmm. I think they all deserve to be close. And yeah, it really is a personal preference, right, for this one, because it really is a, did you like A, B, or C, and, you know, like, there were little, di- like, each one had their own strengths. For Monster Action, I think Vincent had it down when it came to, I think, mo- like, a compact story, like, that actually had some, like, depth behind it. I like 307. Um... And then, obviously, with Godzilla Legendary versus Rodan Hesai, you had some a fantastic battle between the two, specifically a one v one. Yeah, 
I think I think Joshua deserved this uh, really well. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I think they all did very Rest well. Fucking yeah. peace, bacon. <laughs> But now, if we're going to speak of someone that didn't do well, for the best writing duo <laughs> slash trio, guess who? Andrew Sudermanski, oh, sorry. You you lost. You, you, <laughs> no! you <didn't> first. <laughs> One vote. Look at that. Two were in every category, but nope. Denied. <laughs> denied. <laughs> no! God, you like to rig the game in his favor, but we, we beat him to go to the classroom. <laughs> Hydrox, you should have rigged it more. <laughs> Hydrox three of the four options. What do you mean? I, I didn't rig it enough? Hydrox, <laughs> you're tonight's biggest loser. You know, you know what? No wonder, no wonder he's helping so much in 2021 with all these matches. You know, I... I, uh... I have to compensate. <laughs> yeah. But yes, well done, well done, well done, Nagoda. And uh, yeah, you, well done, uh, Dal, and well done, Matthew. You you both deserve it. And yeah, three thirteen. Even if it won by a hair, it it it, it deserved the win. Yeah, I know that is a close hair. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's insane. Hey, imagine if three hundred won Kaiju X. I'd still be at the top. Yeah, you would. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that is nuts. That is ah. Oh. Here, you go figure. I get my own comeuppets. Of course, I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so now we are at the end of the major awards. I will take a moment to pick the uh, highlights in regards to our uh, the feedback that was received, oh, and that okay. was uh, for uh, at least specifically in regards to what was your favorite moment of twenty twenty. Uh, and I think one, and I'll just I'll just start naming them. Please let me know when to pause, and you guys can like discuss. But uh, 2001 Ingress was awesome. Uh, the monster fights are always a highlight, but some of the focus on the humans and characters keep things fresh and interesting. Uh, I like the introduction of Millennia Mothra. I like her Hesai counterparts. Horrible abuse and disgraceful retirement. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Uh, I did find John Wayne, which was your mom. Uh, <laughs> oh no, that was me. Oh, that was you. Okay, okay. Yeah, I don't remember what I put. I, I we'll know we'll find it. I'm sure. I think this is the destroyer choked on through by laughing too hard at bulk in. I would assume. That oh was yeah, me. that was, that, that was yeah. me. <laughs> okay, there we go. We got that out of the way. <laughs> no way. I could uh, there's more to that one. Was was there? Because I I thought I referenced like three kaiju in that sentence. I, mean, I think I found kaiju X with the. Uh, this monster, this uh, moment about uh, where is it? Monster actually jumping off a wall and oh yeah, oh okay, here we go. Monster X going on to 90s zone fighter has size combo attack. Bagan repeatedly slashing the door in the sky. Uh, Jet Jaguar pulling Cabal's heart out. Armor Titan slamming Gara down by leaping off the top of the wall. There's just too many freaking picks. No, I, that was me. Okay. That was me. Oh, that was you? Okay, I was going by freaking picks. Yeah, And yes, I picked a, a moment from 313, but I didn't write that moment, so therefore, it's fine. Yes. <laughs> uh, next one is when Shin Godzilla cut his own head off. Ew. Ew. I, I mean, I'm not going to lie, that was one of my favorite moments, too. Uh, I'll say Damn. this much. The moment when one random guy tells Shin Shin to stole me. Uh... <laughs> Uh, next one is, I'll say this much, the moment when one guy uh, tells... Oh, sorry. Uh-oh. Got Doggo barking. <laughs> Doggo is barking. I'll say this much, the moment when one random guy tells Big End's priest, I don't know, I'm just following the crowd, I just so happen to be the one carrying the weapon, gave me absolute chills. What a moment. Huh. I, I want to say I, that was my brother, but I don't know. I... Th- that, that sounds like me if I actually gave a serious answer, but yeah, I don't know who that's from. I I want to say that's my brother, but I can't say I know for sure. Favorite moment would be Omni slash Bagan and the Gravity Maelstrom. Ooh. I think that was mine. It was. No. Colossal Titan ripping Godzilla's dorsal fin out like MG Manga. Muto Prime turning Bagora to mush after their fight. Uh, Gabber getting his nuts smashed by Kamevis. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm talking ball torture. That's great. I uh, forgot that happened. Was that you, Alex? 
No, that wasn't me. No, I said the one <laughs> choking on his food while laughing at Boxer Dan having a seizure or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next one, Maguma beating Shin Godzilla. Gamera yeah. versus everyone, yeah. everything about it. Gamera surviving everyone. Captain Gordon becoming the Armor Titan. Hell yeah. yeah. Where Gamera turned rogue because he feared humanity is evil and fighting every kaiju in the Alien Defender, humanity, anti-kaiju weapon defense. I don't know, it kind of started rambling from there, but I'm just throwing it in. <laughs> uh, the Frankenstein family in 300. Monster X destroying the Natals. Right, they, 290. Yeah, just utterly uh, destroying them. Uh, Hesse Ghidorah getting a characterization beyond Mindless Puppet or 50, 50, 55% of Mecha King Ghidorah makes me happy. Godzilla and Guerrero seeing Frankenstein and Kamobis become becoming friends. Began versus the legendary King Ghidorah, hands down. The fight was pretty much equal, and it was nice to see the two of the most powerful Godzilla villains going head-to-head, -head, or rather head-to-heads. Hey. Huh. hey! So many to choose from. Perhaps when Gigan got revenge against Hesai Mechagodzilla. Uh, legendary Ghidorah's Ew. personality. Gigan defeating Mechagodzilla. Began fighting King Ghidorah Monsterverse, Ew. Monster X, letting Gamera have his time to shine just, at 300. I'm oh, sorry, what? I was going to say just Monster X. <laughs> just Monster X. I'll, I'll let you know when we get Gororan versus Gororan in this list. <laughs> Gamera absorbing the heat from Legendary Godzilla Spikes to power himself up. Uh, you're welcome. That was my addition to the match. I remember that specifically. Oh, yeah. No, that was a good one. That was a good one. Yep. <laughs> CT smashing all those head in by tactically outsmarting him. Uh, I can't really say. They were all so good. Kong versus Gamera. Wait. what? I don't think we had that match. No. Oh, wait. Was that wait. Kong Maybe, that was, Maybe that was last. No, that wasn't last year. No, I don't think we ever had Gamera versus Kong. I guess he was putting a request in. Okay, I write guess. it down. <laughs> maybe, write it down. Maybe it was. Maybe they were just doing like a, because like, he did fight Kong in like a thirty something, right? But that was like years ago. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. That's the closest one. Uh, the part in three eighteen where again the conflicted mind of Sanda, King Ghidorah becoming an allied Ultraman in three eleven. In match 313, when Began's Priestess died and he became the Dark God we know him as, Douglas Gordon fighting Godzilla Trilopod by turning him into a Titan and using a sword. And the sword, there's uh, multiple exclamation points, so I assume he was really hyped about that. Oh yeah, no, that was awesome! <laughs> uh, oh, when Shin Godzilla actually loses instead of winning all the time? Ew. All the time. Once. Oh yeah, Shin Godzilla wins all the time in the one match he was in before that. <laughs> <laughs> he has too many wins. People are being a bunch of silly willies. Hey, they could be reading really KWC. <laughs> you don't know. I don't uh, think he won every one of those, did he? I don't think he. I don't think no, so. he won all of them. You know what? No, I'm he lost good. like all of them. He lost two of them. Yeah. Yeah. See. Bagan's Descent into Madness, all of 300. Uh, yeah, uh, the transformation of Bagan from Benevolent God to Destructive One in 313. Uh, Bagan's backstory. Uh, that's a request. The entirety of match 297. Oh, cool. uh, Titanus Godzilla versus hmm. Zeliclone. Yeah, so Jack Jordan's match. Uh, Bagan returning to the God of Destruction stage. Uh, Bagora versus Muto, loving, uh, he made a quick meal. Uh, and where's 2001, Gamera fighting Iris, uh, Bagan versus King Ghidorah, the human betrayal specifically. The whole month of, God, the whole Gamera month. Uh, I think King Ghidorah teaming up with Zone Fighter was my favorite. K Ghidorah's has been in the KWC since it began, so it was only right that we get a new home on Scar Island and a proper send-off to the king. Mm -hmm. Uh, Maguma beating Godzilla Rewa. Uh, King Ghidorah finally getting a happy ending in 311. Aww. Loved match 318. Aww. Yeah. Really <laughs> liked all the theme matches this year. It makes sense. We we had some amazing ones. The Griffin fight was awesome and creative. Hope for more Griffin in the in the KWC. 
Maguma beating Shin. Behemoth Ew. is cool. <laughs> Man, people really love Ultra Instinct Maguma. <laughs> Behemoth is cool. How much you want to bet that it's MM's alternate accounts? <laughs> oh, made like seven. <laughs> it's just MM saying all the, all that. <laughs> I think it's a device match. I think it's like a love it or hate it kind of thing, and people that love it love it, and the people that don't love it don't love it. I think that's pretty much the general consensus of that. But regardless, some awesome feedback, and I definitely understand, uh, based on it, you can understand why 313 got so many uh, number one spots. Oh yeah, no, for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it, it's well deserving of it. Woo! Yeah. <clears throat> I, hope who, I hope whoever put Gigant being, beating Mechagodzilla is happy. I think they are. I think they are. Because sometimes you just... Some... I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, damn. Well, I'm going to go to the survey now and just quickly go over some notes. Oh, do you want to mention like the whole thing of like... Uh... Oh, no, we haven't gotten to the new monsters yet. No. Yeah, that's on the other... That's on the feedback survey. And uh, luckily for us, in regards to overall quality, uh, it seems that generally people liked this year posting the information now all right so yeah overall i think people really enjoyed this year uh over 75 percent thought it was great and or exceptional and, and you know we only had a few percent that thought it was terrible or bad so good job team hey Yay. at least no one said at least no one said it was unreadable so you know what <laughs> that's a step in the right direction <laughs> I mean, after 288, I wouldn't blame them. <laughs> well, no, the person that voted for 288 put terrible. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. Now that's the one I like to see. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, yeah, no, next spot was, like, how do you feel about including lesser-known Toho-owned monsters slash franchises in the key to be see? Uh, oh boy, this was not even yeah. a contest. Totally fine. The more, the merrier. So this roster is just gonna get thicker. <laughs> I like them. I like them big. I like them chunky. <laughs> uh, it's to other not uh monster slash uh to add. In the top five, we made note Baragon was getting in, and we made note of Tesse Go, but uh. Monster Hunter was also in the top five, along with Evangelion, if that movie is distributed or whatever we get in the it movie. Is, like, it, it, it's going to be distributed by Toho. We, it just hasn't been released yet. I mean, technically, we just take those top, those the first three out, since we have those uh, guys in anyways. Right, right. So, it's like, yeah, no, it's not and even, then, yeah. <laughs> otherwise, followed up, we have, you know, uh, Ghost Godzilla, Godzilla Unleashed, Ultraman Belial, the... Uh, Axor of Hanna Barbera slash HB Godzilla, Ultraman Tiga, and Udaku. Hey, get... my man Udaku got a lot of votes. Yeah, if you want to be technical, there are but like dude. like Baragon and Godzilla. The series are tied. Uh, Evangelion and Ghost Godzilla are tied, and then uh, Hanna Barbera and Ultraman Tiga are tied. So it's like if you want to consolidate that, it's there. But you know. Uh... But yeah, no, holy moly, this was crazy. <laughs> it, it, it's also nice to see yeah, a boy very receptive of Monster Hunter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's yeah. that's really nice too. I like, I like that Monster Hunter crazy. has a lot of uh, is actually getting a lot of traction. Like, I'm not sure if the movie had well, aside from its inclusion, uh, I'm not sure if the movie had anything to do with it or just the fact that Monster Hunter World's just a you know. I haven't played it yet. I, I still haven't. There's a lot of Monster Hunter fans out there. Yeah, yeah. It, it like Monster Hunter's become more mainstream mm -hmm. in recent years, thanks to World. So mm -hmm. that could yeah. be it. Yeah, that I wish would my not man be Manila was higher. <laughs> oh, if only the movie wasn't bad. <laughs> Plot wise, I mean. Right. Yeah. Well, in regards to now the Godzilla. If you take a look, Showa actually came in third, but it was tied for second. Really, it's tied. It's tied. It's tied with Final Wars. I, yes, it's I consider yes. both of them second. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Ghost did have the hair of victory, but uh, I also kind of looked at all the other data in regards to announcing Showa as the winner, 
mainly because out of the two, Showa is the more demanded of compared to Final Wars. And when it, I mean, would you rather have a Godzilla that can fly or someone that just can fight kind of good? Uh, right. I mean, plus or someone Showa. who can play soccer. Yeah, plus Showa actually has more to him. 14 films compared to one. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. yeah. That, that helps. Well, Showa plays volleyball. Right. Yeah, exactly. And overall, in regards to the amount of good Godzillas like Final Wars, Showa, Rulers of Earth, they outnumbered the negative, which was GMK, Ghost Godzilla, like the evil, pure incarnate, kind of like destructive Godzilla, hmm. which kind of led me and pointed my the direction of, yes, Showa is greenlit. Right. That's fine. Uh, that is, I could totally understand the reasoning to that. Uh, and plus, uh, first, like, yeah, Sh- Ghost won by a hair. But even you told us that it was like this was something of a like last second sort of voting, like you know, like there are just little stragglers that came near the end of the voting process that got them up there. But the initial, the initial wave was in favor of Show. So, and that I will acknowledge that I was like, yeah, I know. I oh. think there were a lot of people that wanted him. Oh. It was him in Final Wars for a long time. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people mentioned that there were. Yeah, I, I, I think. Also, Ghost had a little bit of uh, a little bit of a help from uh, inside the KWC. <laughs> there was a lot of a uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, pushing for him. Yeah, so I think gonna... you kind of tempered those expectations and kind of understood, like w- you know, how the results were split over time. I think Showa was the the more obvious choice, the one that kind of people want, and based on his history and based on how much demand there was for him for so long. It makes sense to have Showa finally appear in the KWC, and you know he can be that flying magnet uh, that we all want him to be. The flying and ghost will begin another time. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, say regarding Ghost, I think at the beginning he had the most votes because of the st- like the staff wanted him in the most. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. He was he was a clear right. victory by. Uh, head and shoulders in the beginning, and then the rest of the votes kind of flooded in. Yeah. Showa really picked up steam. Final Wars had to actually then took the took the first for a little while, and then Showa then took it, and then it kind of all evened out. Yeah, no, no, no. Final, yeah, Final Wars and Showa were neck and neck early on. Like surprisingly, like I was not expecting Final Wars to shoot up that high. I was expecting Rulers mm-hmm. to jump up again, but I could I because I don't think we had Final Wars in the last uh, Godzilla voting thing or whatever. Like, the, I the last did. time we did this. Like, I don't think he was up there at all. Uh, so, so yeah, no. <laughs> but I think it's also clear, too, that it's like there, I'm sure the people who voted none of the above are probably all from, sta- like, not necessarily from us staff, but, like, forms, too. It was like, because we've always had the whole limited Godzilla limiter stuff and stuff. So it's like, I'm sure a good sizable portion of them were probably from staff, too. Or, form. I'm sorry, form community. Uh, but otherwise, it's like, you know, it seems like a lot of people still demand for their Godzillers, and, well, it shall be so. <laughs> yep. Uh... Yeah, so next up... I am, I am surprised at how these are distributed. Like, I mean, I'm not. Godzilla Ghost, 2000 getting last. Like Ghost, has, hilarious. like, Ghost has, like, 14 for being first, and, well, the last one, Baragon, had 42. <clears throat> it's amazing. Oh, right, right. I don't think we've gone over the, uh, retire, like, uh, who, who'd you see removed in, uh, 2021. The worst, uh, one. <laughs> well, yes. we're not, we're talking about the, which one do you want to read right now? Oh, we are? Wait, when did yeah. we go over the, oh, uh, no, I thought, oh, oh it should be removed <laughs> first, because that's what Grayshaw posted That's what Grayshaw posted first, but he was posting oh. it as we were talking about the Godzillas. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I agree with uh, Black Moth. Everyone else is uh, wrong. <laughs> I, I, I still, sh- I still should think we we should have put in a. Uh, I don't want. Yeah, see like a it. nun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that would have helped because that that is being fixed yeah. this year. Yeah, it's being fixed this year. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Twenty twenty one will Good. have the addition. It'll be pick up to ten, and you can pick a nun, and that will be right at the top. Right. Good. So I. So that will help dilute, but yeah, Black Moth, 
uh, I will say Black, uh, like the monsters in the top 10 include Black Moth, Attack Titan, Bemular, Seagrex, Armor Titan, Frankenstein, Aurora, Maguma, Colossal Titan, Zendora. I don't know why I just had the Pokemon theme in there. <laughs> um, yeah, I was about to ask, why were you doing a Pokemon rap? Uh, you gotta catch them all. Yeah. S- secret- Try to retire them all. Secretly, Gray- yeah. Grayshot wants Pokemon on the KBC. <laughs> Guys, I feel like with that none option, I feel like Frankenstein only got that many votes because no. all of it, all of us knew he was getting retired at that moment. Right, right. I think that so was it's like definitely... we wanted to get rid of one of our votes. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see again. Twenty twenty one, we'll get a better information. But in regards to twenty twenty one, we are retiring uh, Baragon, Showa, C Rex, and Frankenstein due to at least for Frankenstein, we're done seeing the character. We're sending Gara have the more uh, better representation because of the high requests for Tessa go and king uh cobra mm-hmm. the c-rex is going to be pushed over uh essentially retired and then for baragon showa we're just adding millennium because he literally has more powers and you you can use or, in the exact same way right, right. we're granting him more powers and abilities that while may not be present in the original movie is still one, I would say some of it's still like Toho approved, like the fire breath for Millennium Baragon. It's like, it's clear Toho was fine using Millennium Baragon shoot fire, like in the Atari Pipeworks games or the Rulers comic. Like, or like, you know, it's somewhat interchangeable for Toho. Uh, and likewise, too, I think the scrap powers just better complement are the 2001 Angiras. So it was just good to pull from the original GMK material. Okay. Uh, All right, time to start a giant typhoon in the middle of Japan now. Hey, yeah. Well, in regards to the 10 monsters that people want to read in the KWC, uh, Anguirus 2001, I think, is the biggest surprise at number one. Godzilla Rewa is number two. And people but, love Anguirus. Yeah, I, I mean, he's, uh, uh, spoilers, but he's also at number 10. Anguirus Showa is number 10, so it makes sense. <laughs> Uh, King Ghidorah Legendary is number three, Griffin number four, Bagora number five, Falk Zardan number six, Mobima hit number seven, Godzilla Legendary is number eight, and Begin is number nine. Right. Technically, uh, Bagora, Falk Zardan, Behemoth, and Godzilla Legendary are all tied, so I was like, what the heck? That's mm-hmm. certainly a surprise, but I was like, I'll, I guess I'll take it. I got a four-way standoff. <laughs> One will live, the rest will die. All right, you, all right. Let's write a Kill KDBC. Behemoth. Let's let's write a KDBC with those four monsters. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm ca- I'm a little curious to see if this is a case of hey guys, uh, listen, I don't want to fill this out. Let's just pick the top ten monsters. So I might just pick a you know d- not interested or none for this one as well for next year because uh, looking at actually looking at it right now, I just kind of realized all of them are in alphabetical order, like. Inguirus, Inguirus, Bega, hey. Ghidorah. Like, it's, like, the Godzilla Rewa and King Ghidorah Legendary makes sense. It's just a uh, little curious. Right. Is all. Okay, there's, there's probably, like, a sizable chunk of people who are just like, I just like reading the matches. I don't really yeah, care yeah, yeah, for yeah. the specific monster. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that would be... Best. Like, I do, I do have a hard time picking this one, too. Right. It, not, like, the, yeah. like the retired one. At le- I mean, at least you can tell people have good taste when the list starts and ends with Angiris. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so just have, like, an option that's, like, non-specific. Non-specific. I think if I recall correctly, I picked the ones that are more character-based. Mm-hmm. Oh, of course you did. <laughs> yeah, right. of course I did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I'm, pre- <laughs> I'm pretty confident I voted for, like, I know some of these were mine, like Bagora. Bulk. I think I voted for the Titans, but I don't remember who else. Yeah, no, I remember voting like Bagora, like some of the lesser guys, like Bagora, Boxer, and Behemoth, uh, Mudo Prime. I think was another. Uh, I know. Yeah, I voted for, the now I vote guy, for I Yeah. <sighs> All On to the next category. Yes, very much so. <laughs> there is no KBC roster. Alright. Leave. <laughs> well, uh, the next thing I do want to add is do... I think we can all announce that the Battle, ra- that the battle Rail match of the Mechazos was the chosen match. So thank you all for the request for 2021. But yes, the Ooh. Mechazilla three-way is going to be the the uh, choice match of the year. So thank you to all the submissions. We we did look at all of them, and yeah, that one. Uh, 
happened to be our choice. And so whoever did it votes. Yeah, and yeah, there were there were a lot of right this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh well, actually it's kind of funny, right? Because 313 was the one that was requested last year. Yeah. And was the I mean, number one, so I don't know, under a lot of pressure, it better be number one in all the categories for the votes. Oh, what are we talking about now? We're talking about the, the request thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the yeah. Godzilla. Yes, the one you're in charge of. Good luck. Yeah, yeah. okay. I, I want to say that real quick. That match is almost done. I just need Joe to wrap up things. <laughs> okay, I'll get it. Okay. Damn, that yeah, was no. fast. Yeah, no, this is, it's not going to be like last year where we're running around like chickens with our heads cut off trying to get it out in time. And they, and they moved it forward to accommodate yeah. a, t- a Titan. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> Holy but yeah, no, like the, the request for this year is already almost done. <laughs> yep. I don't know when it will be out. We're still trying to you know, figure out all the scheduling and stuff for this year. But like, yeah, the, it will be out whenever it needs to be out. Yep. And I hope everyone enjoys it. I'm proud of it. Mm-hmm. Hey, I don't. Yeah, I doubt it's, it will. It's really. It's really good so far. Yeah, I doubt it's gonna like blow people away as much as three thirteen did, but I think it will still be high, well regarded. I, yeah, I hope so. I really hope so. So because it's like that is always, always the fun part, and you know what, you guys are gonna be in for a trip. <laughs> I mean, it's a Mechagodzilla battle royale. It, I hope you all enjoy it. <laughs> they got the yep. trip. It's it's the. It's probably the match that uh, I think a lot of people have been waiting for. I know I have. Oh, yeah, yeah, No, for sure. I had wanted to do it, and then it was like, then GBR claimed it. I was like, oh, okay. (laughs) Yeah, I claimed it because, uh, I mean, do do we really need to play coy with how Heisei MG isn't looking so hot soon? (laughs) (laughs) And the next thing you know, people are going to be... Oh, yeah, that trailer. Right, and then for you next thing you know, people are going to be like, uh, "Oh, maybe I don't want to say anything." Spoilers, though. I guess people already know at this point. No, right. don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, for you know, oh uh, yeah, no. So very, very curious to yeah. see what's in store for the rest of the year, how things will play out for next year's right. awards and all that fun stuff. Well, we do yeah, have uh, two more. We do have one more category to go over. Oh, uh, I won't. We won't go over the uh, special month of matches because that was more so uh, for our feedback, and okay. we did get a lot of good requests. Uh, we did go over them again. We uh, do get people that don't believe that we actually go over this, but listen, we actually do. We love this information. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yes, I'm going to go over the recommendations, changes, or critiques for the KWC. All right, well, let's, you know what? Let's hear it. Let's. I, I keep forgetting that exists. Let's hear it. Uh, so allow Toho associated content. Uh, I think we do. We do. We have I mean, Gamera. Man. <laughs> oh no! I no, think... no, no, no. Oh, but I... distributed. That was the thing. We I think Birdman originally suggested associated for like the battle soccer and city shot it in. Shadow, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, I was said no. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think that's oh. Birdman. So we just kept it uh, distributed yeah. instead yep. of associated. Yeah, we want to avoid dangerous things. Japanese lawyers be scary. Uh, next up, I noticed that even though there have been added, they've been added to KBC for matches. Kaishimaba, the visitor, and King Cobra haven't been added to the roster yet. Uh, that's just basically down to it's. I've got a lot of matches, and it just kind of takes time for matches to get to you know release. You know, you know, release. Uh, I know. Just blame Kaiju X for that. Mm-hmm. He's in charge of the roster. <laughs> well, okay, first off, that thing is slightly out of date because the visitor is has a match and is on the roster now. Yes. Yep. So. And as for the other two, we are working on it. Yep. And as for everyone yep. else, time. we're also working on it. <laughs> Please yeah, understand, that... we have a lot of matches in the archives. Like, literally, we could keep the KWC going for like two years straight or oh, yeah, more. Easily. And if you know, yeah. one more time, we will remove these monsters. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just have to get... Like, literally, yeah. if oh, if on. all submissions just stopped, the KWC could... If all submissions just stopped, the KWC could still go for, like, several years. Just off of what we yeah. already have. Yep. Obviously, keep sending in matches. We're not, like, overwhelmed or anything, but just, like, just know we have so much stuff. Yeah, our, like, one person on the staff is. 
<laughs> we can survive for about like a year or two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We we are also having issues with like not a lot of submissions coming in at the same time. So like obviously. Yeah. No. Don't I don't feel afraid to submit if you got anything. Yeah. We don't have super right, high so. standards. Submit People keep thing. falling short of them, but we don't have super <laughs> high standards. <laughs> So if you want to write Gororin versus Shin Godzilla, go ahead. Don't and please stop sending me shot. versus send everyone banner event request, to... please. Those are annoying to make. Yep. Send it to your mom. <laughs> oh yeah, go on, Grisha. Yes. Uh, you just throw these in the trash. I would like to make note. Again, we do not. <laughs> we actually go over it live. <laughs> I think I put that. <laughs> no. Uh, no, just let's attack on Titan monsters, more Toho owned ones, and no Rochi, he is too overpowered. What? Wait, uh, did they say no attack on Titan? Damn. What? Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. moron. <laughs> okay, now hold on a second. I have a... Everyone has their preferences. I know. No, I have... They... A little bit. I have a problem too. That person said no Orochi, he's too overpowered. We have Utsuno. Yeah. Who's we have Baggin. Who's even more overpowered? We have your Literally, the, ca- the canon interaction of Rochi is getting absolutely demolished by Utsuno. Yeah, see? People could say stupid shit. Yeah. And have stupid opinions. <laughs> <laughs> like that person did. You know, no, Rochi, he's too overpowered. We have the guy who canonically stomps him without getting hurt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yes, going on from there. No recommendations needed. Focus mostly on Godzilla-related monsters. Oh, I mean, no. we already do. We, we kind of do, yeah. We but I mean, I. Do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so basically, we'll or don't Godzilla worry. Godzilla less camera. I get. I get what you're saying, man. Retire Black Moth 2021. <laughs> uh, Damn. I would suggest posting matches slightly more often. Uh, not a chance. We have a strict schedule. We've got a good schedule going down. Three matches a month. Yes. And. So yep. we're, we're sticking and that to that. Looks, and that works very well. Yes, no, no, yes. Yes. absolutely. The three, the, no, yeah, no, there is no change to that schedule. The closest change you'll get is with Monster Months. That's it. Yep. Like, I think I think this is the best schedule the KWZ has ever had. Yes. I fully agree. Yeah, fully. We're organized now. Yeah. Because there's actually a schedule. Yeah. No, dude, this is a hundred times better than you might get like two a month maybe. I don't know. Or maybe we'll go a whole year without an update. Yeah. Because... Yep. <laughs> and yeah, we have the event months, which are more than three a month. Those come occasionally and are very fun. Right. And we try yeah. to make sure that event months are at least four matches. At least. No more than five. We're going to try to avoid being legendary mayhem. So. Yeah. And look forward to the event months of this year. I think that people will love them very much. Yeah. No more. No less. <laughs> yeah. It it's very much works out. It's good schedule. We're sticking to it. Sorry, bud. Yeah. Uh. Nope, you guys are doing wait. I can't wait to see what the KWC and subsequent the committee reads has in store this year. Aww. Aww. Can you guys Aww. stop giving me all the matches with a bunch of monsters to make banners for? It's hard to put <laughs> <play nice. Nagoda. laughs> Damn, Nagoda. Yes, Andrew smells. No, I'm just kidding. I just added that. <laughs> Look, Actually, I- basically, stop making matches with 100 monsters. Do smaller stuff. Yes. <laughs> yeah. More uh, doesn't. I I want to make note. Nagoda did to himself three hundred with his own banner, right? Like he yeah. did that to himself. He wrote yeah. that match. Well, no, well, yeah, yeah, that, that, was, that cool. was young me. Young me was an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you were never an idiot, son. We I all hate our younger enough selves. To everyone match. We yeah. all hate our younger selves. I want to take a yes, swinging. Do. I want to take a swinging punch at my past self. <laughs> but I know Kaiju X does as well. Oh yeah. Without a doubt. I still look at his old Stay tuned baby. for the committee reads for that. Yeah. Where Kaiju actually suffers yes. eating his old crap. Oh, man. This could be golden. Uh, uh, let's see. Damn. Well, in that ca- the next one was give Andrew Sudamersky a break. <laughs> 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 I never. No. You wonder. You wonder why I made that joke there for a second. I because I saw that was coming next. I'm like, oh no. He. Uh, I. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta give Andrew a joke and then give him this comment. Uh, uh. 
Lie down, old man. <laughs> Uh, uh, more cool. gift banners would be nice. All right. Oh, yeah, those would be cool. Yeah, no, yeah, that's circumstantial, but, you know, we'll try and see what we can do. Like, what I'd... I want is, like, a it's like a animated gift banner. Oh, man. I know I tried that with 190. It didn't quite work because it had too much. Oh, yeah. But, yeah no. I mean, just, like, a gift banner of, like, a beam firing would be nice. Yeah, yeah. I'll... Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I was thinking awesome. of being more experimental with gift banners, so hopefully... That's something to keep in mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'll be mindful of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, add Gorosaurus in the KWC banner. What? Uh, what? Oh, I think he means the, the main one. one. The main one. The main one. And I will say, we Whoa. actually... Uh, you're going to be very disappointed because uh, we're actually going to be taking them all away. Yeah. Good. <laughs> and that is not a joke. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We have a new thing coming up. Stay tuned for it. Hopefully it'll be <laughs> yes. out within the year. You're all going to love it. We're just waiting on final uh, final edits. But yes, you, hopefully you do. There was a hint of it in regards to the picture that was posted with this article. Uh, I thought it would be done sooner. It was not. So uh, Too hopefully... bad of uh, certain things. Too bad uh, life gets in the way. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Like marriage, mm-hmm. apparently. But regardless. <laughs> uh, Name authors when first posted, like added match 342 by Andrew something or other. Hmm. What do we do that? Well, we kind of, it's like, what? we, I, I don't know which section that what was. What was the question? It was like, add the, it was add the name by something other, but it's like, we added match 322 to the KWC match by Harley Jameson and banner by Matthew Freeze. It's all, whenever we post, it's on the update. Yeah. It's on the update. So I think they're asking it for the author and banner artist to be moved first, which would be awkward. So yeah. I don't um, think yeah. we're changing that one. No, again, I like yeah, the idea with the, uh, the writing more credit, but it's literally just the third line. Like, it's right after, mm-hmm. and if we and it, yeah, it, it just kind of helps with the flow if we do it like that. But I understand. I, I understand what you're like. It. I like the idea. Uh, writers should get credit, and they. I uh, again, the awards is a way that way. You know, writers do get credit. You know, uh, mm-hmm. add void Ghidorah. Not happening. Nope. Damn. Uh, Damn. To have more stories in continuity. Uh comically enough you can now read them all because they're all now on a page right yeah i know the, they're in a nice streamlined page to where uh things are hopefully clear and oh shoot i forgot to send you the description they go to that person speaking directly to you write more theory <laughs> <laughs> write your series instead of making banners for them <laughs> faster to go to faster <laughs> wait what was the wait what, what was that leave. well it said like have more matches set in continuity or something like that so it's, i think it's basically <laughs> like have more series exactly i can't rate my matches for my series please that that, that would be too much effort because like i do so much like not doing anything <laughs> so you have to do more things <laughs> oh that's good. Uh, great shot right faster <laughs> listen i got it i liked your i i will say this with the continuity thread i liked your little note that you're like Wait a minute. Are you saying the Titan matches are somehow connected to Grey Shot's <laughs> Titan, you know, the universe where there was specifically a portal that led to the Titans? <laughs> Golly gee Willikers, Batman. <laughs> oh, okay. Titan did like tell us faster. that. He did like yeah, literally did tell, tell us that, those that. two are. He did. He did. He did. I just, I just find it mm-hmm. really funny. Like no one was like, wait a minute, hold up, hold up. We just went a monsterverse route. Wasn't there the other one with Titans? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, no. What actually shocked me the most about that was the fact that it was like all of your arcs are five matches long. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yeah, you, they totally are. What the heck? Yeah, no. Uh-huh. One, two. It's two. almost like I planned them or something. <laughs> 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 Great shot. We don't plan here. <laughs> have you have you seen have you seen any of our conversations? We don't plan. We just <laughs> overload ourselves. I mean, with ideas I plan. I just don't write. Vomit them. <laughs> And <laughs> overload ourselves with ideas and then just vomit them onto a Google Doc. <laughs> no, no, no. You vomit them into Microsoft Word, then you paste it into Google Doc. <laughs> and then Kajuwek sends it back. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no, it's like, I hope to, like, do something with some of these. Or, like, continue off of some, one of them or something. I mean, Kajuwek's like, you have, like, what... Step in matches. Oh that yeah, are, no, I got like a like, bunch of matches. End on cliffhangers. Yeah, that. I mean, 
that may or may not be rectified in the future, but... <laughs> Well, I mean, the continuity page uh, right, right. removed the one continuation you did make for a match of yours. Yes, so. because I w- I am not happy with it. <laughs> Maybe I'll. <laughs> you finally went. I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna make a continuation of one of my old matches, and then you almost immediately went. This sucks. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, back to the comments. Uh, have fights where the commands are balanced. Well, Why not? Um, not always. <laughs> I mean, I can understand maybe having more, but I think we had a good mat. We had a good amount. Yeah. Like, Bang King of Legendary, you know, two giant sons beating the crap out of each other. Like, you know, literally just conduits of power. I, You know, pretty much even. Manda Titanosaurus, pretty mm-hmm. much even. You know, I think, I think we do a good job. King Kong bangs your mom. <laughs> pretty much even. That's pretty even. <laughs> Have more balanced fights. I... I I do legit wonder, like, how many of these people are reading the matches? I don't think they're yeah. reading all of them, and I think the ones that they do read are, like, the more one-sided-ish ones, maybe. Yeah, like um, like Maguma versus Shin Godzilla. Yeah, like, we don't even really have that many matches. Yeah, where, like... next time we should have Maguma fight someone that's a more on this level. Again, yes. someone just Maguma as Maguma versus your mom. Yeah, next time we'll have Gazora fight Shin. Make it more even. Uh, <laughs> Don't give them ideas. Uh, there shouldn't be a Kaiju with one fight to their name. Maybe try to build a group of matches uh, for the before posting any of them. Uh, that's easier said than done. Because usually the newer matches, again, it's already a... We're kind of cutting... I don't want to say cutting corners. But we're essentially... We have plenty of matches that have been waiting for years. And most of the time we post those. But then we have like situations where we have an awesome match... Like, I don't know, your 313, it's like Big A versus Legendary Ghidorah. It's like, oh, no, 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 okay, this one can get to the top. Mm-hmm. Um, and it works out because it's a special, it's for a special event, uh, which was, again, the match requested in the survey last year. Yeah. Um, so I understand the idea, which is to have more of them. The, the fact of the matter is that, that we're about like two years behind the current status. So it, it it's really difficult to do that. Right. Once we get everything sorted and cleared out, hopefully we'll be at a point where, uh, to where it feels like it's going to be more up to date, that submissions coming in are consistent to the times. So, but you can't, yeah, no, you can't rush these things. You just can't. As much as we'd like to, you can't. Wrestling leads to a lot of mistakes. No, we just post a match a day to, while have all in the rhythm of my war from Attack on Titan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, in regards to next comments, uh, add more cities. Uh, I what? guess just more what? city fights. I guess <laughs> they just want different uh, locations. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is oh, it no, possible? Or... Oh, sorry. Oh. Continue. And I was gonna say I kind of I I can agree with that of just like have more unique locations. Yeah, right. I, and I, feel like, I feel like the way they stop going to Japan, go to in America, go to like South Africa. Go to Rome. Go to like, tell, like, the KWCE with the city cards or the location cards. Like it's kind of why we did like back in two eleven we did Vladivostok because when I when I shared that information. It was like, oh, it's like, wait, what? Like, this magical, like, new t- city was, like, a run veiled. It's like, it's right next to Japan, but no one really thinks of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I can agree. Like, we need more unique locations. Like, Tokyo and Monster Island are good standbys, but, like, mix it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, understandable. Understandable. Uh, uh, is it possible for Megaloman monsters to appear in the near future? No. <laughs> yeah, not sure. No. Unlikely. So, I would, you know what? I'll research into the show Damn. and see if there's anyone unique. If there isn't, I'm not going to bother. Yeah. Uh, if you're humanoid monster. This hair is too good for the kid of PC, don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you say less humanoid monsters? Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, fewer humanoid monsters. What? That's a dumb Well, you're unfortunately getting, your, uh, you're unfortunately getting your, your good news. 
Personal preference aside, we have plenty of non-humanoid monsters that fight, and I will say in regards to certain situations, it does add a nice variety when two humanoid monsters go at it, or a humanoid and a non-humanoid. It just yeah. gives the raider much more creativity to actually implement those types of battles than, you know, if it was kind of standard. I mean, if, if, if every monster had the same stature and size of Godzilla, it would be get, I think, rather boring fast. Yes. Oh, yeah. You, you yeah. Need uh, the, wait, yeah. they said less humanoid monsters, right? Well, there goes half. There goes like a majority of the rosters. They're all suits. <laughs> yeah. <in> them. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not like Smash Bros. where most of the most of the characters are humanoids. And guess what, Buckaroo? If we ever get the remaining t Titans, we're getting at least like five more. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Although one of them is monkey. But we're adding. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, we're adding yeah, what even constitutes humanoid in this case? Because, like, technically, Kong is a humanoid. Right. Yeah, the Kongs are humanoids. The friggin', uh, like, you know, Gargantuan. Monster are X is technically yeah, humanoid. Yeah, Monster too. X is a humanoid. So it's like, yeah. did you mean human like? Like, the ones that are closer to humans? Like the Titans or Frankenstein? Man, I wish I could hear Kaiju X. Sick. Kaiju X is fucking dead. Damn. Well, otherwise, in regards to recommendations, changes, or critiques, uh, other than Kaiju X being dead, <laughs> uh, watermark the banners with a logo. Huh. That Interesting. Is... But I don't think we really. I mean, yes, it would be cool. Uh, something to think about. I mean, we could just implement I mean, our... the. Uh... I mean... We could so just... far, I haven't really found anyone stealing any banners. Fortunately, except that one time. Fortunately, there hasn't been any frequent, even the ones that have stolen. Yeah, that's the only reason I sealed to like watermark anything. Otherwise, it's just like it's just a yeah blotch on the banner that distracts the eye. Uh, I think we. Could I mean, just... is anyone really gonna steal like Godzilla versus Godzilla round fifty something? Yeah, <laughs> right, right. I think uh, like you know, at most. If we do have to do that, I'd say we could just add the Toho Kingdom watermark and just stick it in the corner, like most Toho Kingdom watermarks, and call it good. So that's, but yeah, no, to add an explicit watermark would be just distracting, takes up a lot of time, or you know, or yeah. or, or, or not even that, just like it'd just be distracting, and it's like at most the Toho Kingdom watermark, nothing else. Uh, yeah. yeah. Ribbit. Well, in regards to the next critiques or comments, uh, some matches take far too long to read. Many of those, uh, many of those same matches could have been split into smaller parts for ease of reading. Uh, yes and no. Yes, they could have been done, but sometimes the, uh, uh, sometimes it's kind of just easier to have one big match. Like in regards to like one forty three for me, yeah, you could break it up into like. Gara versus Jet Jaguar, and then Zilla and Yogara versus. Well, I don't think they're saying like multiple matches. I think they're saying like include like a chapter system or something. Oh yeah, yeah. I. Yeah, no. I think they're just saying like for like your three eighteens or your two hundreds, just like have like a chapter tab or something. Right, which so I... it's not just one giant wall of text. Right, which I think, especially with uh, the blog format system, we could pull that off. Like, I think there would be a way to implement sort of like a hyperlink up top. Here are the sections, and then you can click on the hyperlinks to get to the part where you were at last. Because admittedly, I mean, do you know how many chapters there would be in like the novel size matches that we would usually write? Oh yeah, no, there would be enough. There would be enough. Three, three, three eighteen is a book. Mm -hmm. it, it's the one match that can be called a novel. Yeah. Yeah, no, like straight up, I have a feeling that uh, Kaiju X and Alex are gonna end up requiring us to do this eventually. Yeah, yeah, no, I've been yeah. thinking about it. If you just add um, Great Shot's entire series all together, that is just like a book series right there. I, mean, I actually look, made it into a book for someone, so yeah. <laughs> look at what I'm telling you guys about my upcoming Gamma versus Hador round two match. That one's gonna yeah, be here as well. Yeah, Alex is going to make us need to input a chapter system because <laughs> yeah. he just writes novels. <laughs> yeah, he's good at storytelling. That's good. <laughs> I mean, as long as it pushes the KDBC new and innovative directions, I'm all for it. So yeah, I'm going to exactly. break the record for a third time. <laughs> I think it's just sadly something I think we it's kind of hard to implement for the limitations that we have for the site. 
I, um, I don't think it's impossible. I think we can pull it off. It's just a matter of. I think it's something to look into. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. just. Oh yeah, hundred uh, percent. Stop adding scrapped characters. No, uh, no. <laughs> I was going to say, in general, I can understand if you think we're focusing too much on the past. I assure you, our focus is on the past and the future, as more and more awesome monsters are being added uh, from both categories. Uh, I Godzilla mean, versus technically, Godzilla you need to look to the past to to work the future. Technically. Yes. <laughs> we at the KWC focus on the entirety of the Godzilla franchise and kaiju dom. Yes. From both the past and the future. Yes. We try to encompass it all. Mm-hmm. Yep. Keep making interesting and enjoyable work. Uh, Kong Legendary versus Godzilla Hesai. I think that's no. just a request. <laughs> yeah. Uh, more <laughs> matches of Rodan. I mean, yes, Rodan is awesome. No arguments there. Which Rodan? They just says Rodan. All right, uh, let's do three Rodans versus everyone. <laughs> oh yeah. All I can say is to ease up on retiring other monsters. I get Hesai Ghidorah since M- 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 Monster vs. Ghidorah does everything he could do and more, but some of the some of the one incarnation picks should be retired solely because they aren't used as much. And I'm sure they're not. Uh, it's not just if the characters are used or not used. There are other factors that go into it, mm-hmm. like again, uh, general readership. And well, if the if they're already duplicated and or if there are better replacements to be had of those characters. Yeah, yeah uh, Bylon Dana Rochi have like very few matches, but we still keep them in because they're very unique. Yeah. Exactly. And but they're I, well and again, they're they are still very much well like when they pop up, people read the hell out of those matches. Uh we only have uh, one other pet monster in the roster. Yeah. yeah. I can't agree with the idea of like not retiring as often. Like I think like yeah, limiting that would be good, but just like I understand yeah, the reasons it. for the retirements, but just like so long as it's yeah. justified, you know, we can. I, I would say yeah. maybe take a year long break from retiring stuff. Yeah, just tune it down. We're retiring three monsters this year. Well, technically two because uh, yeah. Show of Baragon's going to be next year. So Show of Baragon's getting upgraded, oh, yeah. really. <laughs> I can't, I, I, I can't, yeah, Shiro Baragon is literally the case of we're giving you the better version. It's like, oh, your yeah. it's, yeah. It, that, that version makes sense. The other two I can understand. Yeah. But yeah, again, it's. C Rex is what I think got the most people, like, talking about this. Cause, like, yeah, everyone agrees, like, Shiro Baragon's just getting upgraded. I think everyone also understands, like, Frankenstein, he's just, like, irrelevant by this point. Right. And plus, we're His tossing out Baragon. Better. Right. We're also tossing yes. out Baragon for a better version. So it's like, you know. But yeah. T-Rex is the one that, like, got the most people talking, like, hey, can we cool with the retirements? Because yeah. C-Rex is still, like, you know, unique, well-beloved. Mm-hmm. I mean, technically, his replacements do his job kind of good, too. Yeah, technically. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, but it's still, like, C-Rex is still a, just, like, power-wise, it's like he, King Cobra could arguably do it better. But it's like, you don't have lanky two-legged crustacean with tentacles you know you you like the closest we could get to that is probably gazora maybe even that's somewhat with a giant question mark so it's like you know c-rex is still distinguished Uh, yeah because he's like what's it called like he's a he's a mutation of course he's gonna look weird yeah and plus the to the credit of godzilla the series all the monsters in there are like distinctly designed they're like even if they follow the simple principle idea of giant snake or giant scorpion they are still distinguishedly designed in such a way that makes them a little different uh unlike something like i mean you don't don't see a scorpion with a skull on his face every day right right or yeah or i mean obviously that's where we're gonna be allowing granting access to but freaking uh yeah, it's like Sassery, right? It's like, that one has a stronger personality, will be a better character to write for, but ultimately, it, the way the book describes it too, it's just a giant scorpion. Like, you're literally just putting scorpion.png into a picture and then calling good. Uh, oh, yeah, with that, with that one, I'm sorry, uh, with that one scorpion we, from the Dark Horse comics, it's literally just a scorpion PNG. You, no, like random, ra- random house books. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, a friggin', uh, yeah, no, that one, like, I can understand that's like, to a degree, I think Tesseco just holds a better visual advantage. Like, I understand that's not gonna mean, probably not gonna mean a whole lot in a world where it's more writing with a pretty picture on top, but 
the pretty picture on top does help, especially for fans who are anti readers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here, let's uh, let's get back on to the. You know, I, have, and such. I have to say though, I have to say though, grinding, grinding, a C Rex match. C Rex is fun. Fuck y'all. <laughs> he is fun. Uh, next one actually is very consequential. A way to better follow matches part of a storyline, perhaps a guide of which KWC storylines are going on versus standalone bouts. And that is exactly the comment I saw, and I was like, "Yeah, we should make a continuity thread." And it is now officially up. All right. So yep. thank you to whoever left that comment. Mm-hmm. You literally created the continuity register. Even though we already had a continuity thread, but again, that's on the. But Grayshot hadn't updated it for like a year. That's yeah, year. no. I... And plus, plus, this just gives me both me and Grayshot the time to. So if Grayshot messes up, I could just follow up right behind him and be like, "Okay, yeah, no, here it is." Also, yeah. we, we kind of got rid of all the redundancies, which were like the co- movie continu- movie continuation thread. Like, really, that's unneeded. Yeah. It, the most important things are the matches that are actually connected to each other, not if it makes a reference to a movie. Right. But yeah. if there if it is a reference to a movie, we acknowledge it with the sub things or whatever. Yeah, and I assume that uh, the continuity page is going to be like added to the actual like main thing along with the FAQ and combatant statistics. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna try and post it up front. Uh, yeah, we're working on that. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I know. My brother and I are gonna try and sort that out. We'll probably like divide it into thirds and then go from there. Maybe I don't know. We're, we're gonna try. Uh, the KWC is going through a lot of changes. Give yeah. us time. Yep. We're just next up. Human, so. Yeah. Next up is just make Godzilla a hybrid character. Um, no. no, no, very different kind of situation. No, we hybrid. are not death battle. Exactly. <laughs> we're not adding composite Godzilla. <laughs> Uh, I think that was probably posted by someone who, by the people who think Godzilla can never lose. He's been Lesh, losing too much. Yeah, yeah, because the four main Godzillas we have now are all very different. Yeah, and hold their own weight in a way. And if we hybridize them, we can't have Godzilla versus Godzilla. Yeah, so. and we all know how much you guys love Godzilla versus Godzilla. Isn't there already another one somewhere written? I think there are like two There's more. There's two. There are like two more Godzilla versus Godzillas. I'm not saying which ones are which. Heisei versus Reiwa and Legendary versus Reiwa in the archives at the moment. Dang it, GVR. I was hoping to keep that a secret. Oh, well. Well, let's... Ah! Oh, sorry, Korg. Uh, let's shock under... Then edit it out, Kaiju X. You can censor it. You're editing this. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> let's shock under... Oh, yeah, dog is the please. Sensor. That was the next one. What? Uh, Wait, last one? I think less shock underdog victories mm. <laughs> i can agree with that i can understand that i think they mean more so like the whole like mm R- less right, mm. i can imagine like less i mean like, if it was written well that'd be good and right and most of them are just like, like less MM. those yeah less mm and mm type matches where it's just like here's a super weak monster versus a super strong monster oop the super weak monster won because plot uh-huh right right <laughs> Which I can understand that. I can totally... Yeah. I I think on MM's front, you'll find something more distinguished. So, f- lucky lucky you. Uh, so... Yeah, I think people in general are getting tired of just, like, strong monster loses to weak monster because I want to make the weak monster look good. Right. I think people would prefer right. their 284s where it's just Atsuno nukes Ganymus and it's just played properly. <laughs> Yeah. And, I, yeah, I don't think I'm alone in saying that uh, I like it when the strong monsters are given the proper gravitas they deserve. Yeah. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. totally. Uh, Instead of being knocked to the curb because, hey, I'm smart. I'm making the weak monster win. I yeah. didn't did see that coming. Like when or, I wrote three. Like, or I my hate part. this monster. I'm going to have this weak monster humiliated Yeah. because yeah. I'm an asshole. Like, the parts I wrote for 313, I wanted to make Legendary Ghidorah feel like a threat. Like, he is the end-all, the walking apocalypse. And you did a good job at that. Yeah, and you did a good job of making Bagan feel like a proper powerhouse. Mm-hmm. <laughs> P- people like reading Strong Monsters as actually strong and being written the way they should be. Yeah. <laughs> People don't like watching Monster X get beaten by Gorosaurus and Gabra. They want to see more like 290, where Monster X is the thing that beat Godzilla up and almost killed him as Kaiser. Yeah. No. It's <laughs> or, you know, a good match. Right. That too. 
they, they go hand in hand usually. <laughs> I mean, as long as it's like written really well, like a underdog beating like a really strong guy, it could be done really well if it has a good story right. and justified. Yeah, like yeah, and justified. Yeah, like a Godzilla source versus Godzilla. Yeah. Like, you can write a weak monster yeah. beating up a strong monster. They, it just has to be done well. Like, you have to just actually properly portray the weak monster as the underdog and justify their law, their win. Right. Yeah. Or, you know, put effort into it. That, that I mean, you got to be technical about it. it. You could just have Aragon bury someone, and that would be a win right there. <laughs> well, in regards to the other notes... Uh, more matches with a smiley face. So just note there are a lot of these. Uh, nope, still saying the same, but keep an eye out for those monster months. Hey, yeah. We have plenty of monster months coming up. Oh, yeah. Yep, too. Well, okay, yeah. Oh, uh, great, great shot. Great shot. Yep. Uh, it's been two hours. Is your water still boiling? Oh, no, no. Uh, I, my brother and my, uh, my girlfriend have been doing that kind of stuff. I've been like walking away and like helping every so often. Okay. okay. Yeah, uh, but I will have to go in like five minutes, so that's why I'm... Uh... Yeah, just, just wanted to make sure you didn't burn the pot on accident. Oh, God, yeah. no. No, no, no. I, trust me. I've done that before. I've melted a spatula <laughs> to the pot. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, it is that not with... fun when things like, burn. Yeah, that was with water, by the way. That was just my own incompetence. <laughs> um, <laughs> speaking of incompetence, stop matches from being written by the same ten people, which isn't a negative. Maybe hold a contest, announce a contest in between other match for our new authors to make matches and choose one or two from the batch this would help us when it comes to diversity and storytelling encourage new writers to try to make their own matches well good news you're gonna like this initial wave of this year because i think we got a lot of diversity with uh the like writers for the next couple of months but that also can't be helped because the ones who are willingly writing are like the same 10 people so um you want diversity my... write your own match yes and and make sure yeah. it actually get passes through. <laughs> well, say diversity, yeah. I have like ten matches scheduled for this year. <laughs> I, I do want to stress that <laughs> I actually I actually would kind of disagree with this assessment because remember last remember our twenty twenty pick of pick the top five best writers. Anyone want to guess how many writers we had in twenty twenty for like the entire year? Um, a lot. More than ten. I get fifteen. I'm guessing. Okay, you guys are playing places right. You go over, you lose, you guess, yeah, you guess like next to each other, or you block someone. You know that's all fair game. We'll go from the top and go down. GVR, guess a number between. Well, I'll say one and I don't know fifty, or just uh, guess six, a number. Uh, twenty. Twenty. John Wayne. 21. Wow, he's that guy. Okay, Kai Dweck. <laughs> uh, 18. 18. Uh, Nagoda. 15. 15. Uh, Nor, do you have any comments? Your mother. Uh, in regards to the number? I mean, that's one right uh, there. 69. 69. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, guess what? John Wayne is the winner. So, yes. Uh, nice. It was twenty three. Oh, wow. We had twenty three oh, different writers last year. Right. So this. So yeah. yeah. Oh man. Oh. Oh yeah. That's yeah. right. Shoot. Nice. Yeah. So I I would say we do have a nice variety. It's just there are a few writers that do have a lot of matches. And again, usually I try to limit to every every writer gets about three matches a year. Um, not counting co-writing. Not, not counting co-writing. Yeah, yeah. Again, there are different things that go, like if you co-write, it's like a half. There are there are different notes. Some people do get. That's more. why Kai Joex had like twenty matches in twenty twenty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but again, and why fine. I'm gonna have like twenty. <laughs> yeah, but again, that's fine. It. I I will say I genuinely think uh I genuinely think KBC is doing a lot better of a job showcasing more writers than it has done in the previous and then you know has previously done. I think we're doing a great job in that regard. Yeah, exactly. I'll all the matches used to be yeah. Tom or Christian. Uh but yeah, next up. Stop hesitating to add things like even Gelly on Pokemon and Monster Hunter. If things with one minute of screen time can get in, like Behemoth can get in, I say lend new series all together or have a little that have a little history with Soho. I mean, um Gormagala for the Kenobi you see. Yeah. Yeah, we it says in the background. 
<laughs> right. No, it's like we're not opposed to doing that. It's just simply what best complements what we have. Like, Pokemon would... Pro it's like, for me, the issue with Torterra is not the fact that it had a minute of screen time and did something. It's like, I could just pull powers from the official source and call it good. Uh, but it's like, simply put, that the Pokemon war... And even the voting process has seen that the Pokemon's really low. So, to me, that pretty much... It's like... I mean, have you seen a Pokemon die? Right. Do you want to see you Pokemon You don't really see Pokemon die. It did not really fit with a kid you see. <laughs> right. Yeah, we don't... I, I don't think too many people want to read like, oh, it's this Pokemon you love getting their throat ripped out. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> if Tor Giant Torterra gets in, people are going to be writing matches of uh, Torterra gets his head exploded <laughs> by a beam <laughs> right. on fire. Or just yeah. Torterra's never going to lose. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Torterra gets impaled. I don't think people want to read that. Torterra gets <laughs> splashed no. with blood. I don't want to read yeah, there are series like Pokemon. I add it in there, but it's more so just to gauge interest. I don't ever think we're going to add Pokemon. It's just too much of a step, and there are many people that would agree with that. Yeah, like I, I usually go to my brother, right? I usually go to my brother who is an average kaiju fan. I say, which one of these things is actually a monster? And he kind of looks at it. He gives me like he gets a bit of like of a mm, kind of look, and he's like, well, this, like I don't know, Greater Rathalos from Monster Hunter. And then he links Pokemon, Giant Torterra, and he's like, that's not a kaiju, that's just a giant Pokemon. Hmm. And literally, I'm like, exactly. yeah, that's what average person is probably going to say. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I would say, in let's say in the very unlikely sense, we somehow decide to add Pokemon. I think that should just stick to legendary Pokemon, like your Rayquaza, your Groudons, your Kyogres, etc. Mm. Yeah, like the Hoenn Pokemon would basically fit in, because they destroy the world every other day. Yeah. Yeah, so, again, if we did, for some reason, decide to add Pokemon, just keep it to the legendaries. Oh, right. like, the actual powerhouse, like, because those would be the ones people would actually want to see, are the legendaries, like... Or the fake Groudon from that one movie. Well, right, but that's fake Groudon. Get him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why, why? We had fake Godzilla in for the longest time as our Showa. <laughs> Well, yeah, and at least fake ground is fake ground on is made from a fossil. Yeah, remember the good old days when we thought we we could get Showa Gamoras or Showa Godzilla XP, and then Anthony said no. I remember <laughs> those were the days. Those were the days. Well, we've got again mm -hmm. things have changed. Actually, the next one was you should invest in animated bites slash change in leadership. <laughs> 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 Well, gee, I wonder who heard that. Oh my god! <laughs> god damn! Yeah, I think I think there should be new leadership. Give it to Alex. <laughs> yes, Joe, I'm I, my second in command. Yeah, oh, real quick, yeah. focusing on that uh, first part of the whole animated thing. It, here's the thing: we don't make money, and animation costs money. Yeah. Yeah, like a lot of things mm -hmm. with the KOC, there are some, you know, resources that are needed to use to get those things, and this isn't infinite. This is very much a, there's limited amount of budget, time, It's and such all things. out of gray shot in Kaiju X's pockets. Yeah. Yep. We don't want to get sued either, so. Yep. Plus, uh, we don't really make the animated KWCs. Right. Those yeah. are just people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are volunteer work. Yep. Yeah, that's what we were saying, like, commissioning an animation is a lot of money. Right. And it's like unless like some like I, unless someone like me is like directly doing an animated like like if I decide to say hey I'm gonna do a animated thing I'm gonna direct it you know it's like yeah I know it's unlikely that uh like I'm gonna actively go out and seek one unless it's like you know I mean I technically am but yeah. you know whatever yeah our, the animated fights are volunteer like yeah. Your your best bet is gonna get is someone like Tom making them because he's mm -hmm. the one who made the two most recent ones. Yeah, or animation just do it takes a long time. Oh yeah, and plus you know mm -hmm. there's the per like there's the animators' personal life and junk or other projects that they're doing, so that's you know that's just gonna take a while. You you can't do much about that. Yeah. So as as uh, there's a reason we we just write. It's free. It's simple. <laughs> Mm -hmm, right, and while we would love to have, we would also love to have more animated matches because that would be awesome, uh, especially with yeah. some of the other monsters. That would be like, you know, wouldn't this be cool? Wouldn't that be cool? And I think in this day and age, 
I swear it feels like anything's possible when you get the right people. Oh, I just realized. Couldn't we... Couldn't we get uh, a Greater Rathalos animated match? Yeah, we could, yeah. Oh, yeah, we could. Like, yeah. There's, a, there's probably a lot of good Rathalos models out there. Yeah. Yep. Uh, get next... on it. <laughs> yeah. Next up, way too much use of legendary monsters considering all the unique monsters in the roster. Hey, I'm just saying, people want to use them. Like, Godzilla 2018, if it wasn't a good... If people didn't like the, the storytelling, people love the monsters. Mm -hmm. So, I'm sorry to say, that's probably going to happen. Yeah, again, like, all the matches we get are... The Hunter movie. Good monsters. Eh, plot. Yeah. Yeah, we... The matches are all, like, you know, written and submitted by people, so just, like... What most of the writers want to write is what gets in. Yeah. And I, mm -hmm. I'm sorry to say, most of the people, pretty much everyone on the staff, shares the opinion at the very least of the monster verse is awesome <laughs> and has amazing kaiju in it. Yes. I mean, the, I mean, like the five monsters got, that got remade in that universe are all very well done. Yeah. And the original ones are great as well. Mm -hmm. So, you can... so there, it's a win-win. Right. At this point. Right. And... Yeah, I'll be right back. I gotta go real quick. Gotcha. And plus the MonsterVerse in general, I don't, I hate putting it as like a popularity contest, but the fact that the MonsterVerse is popular with fans right now, it helps a lot. Uh, so it's like, you know, there is some practical elements. There is some awesome, like fan, like, you know, you know, it's like, oh, you know, wouldn't this be awesome? Wouldn't that be awesome? You know, that sort of thing. So it's like, you can't, you yeah, I know. It can't be helped. I do understand, though. I, I really do understand that it's like, you know, other versions should get more time to shine. And I agree. Uh, but it's just simply the matter of our schedule and what matches we have on the back belt that need, you know, in the back door that need to go out. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. So, yeah, that they're going to continue. Legendary is, well, legendary for the moment. Unless Singular Point really, you know, destroys everyone's minds. I think Godzilla vs. Kong is going to be the biggest Godzilla movie we have for probably a long time. And people are going to like to use the, well, those monsters. Yeah. The Mecha Godzilla as well, I imagine. Probably. Yeah, spoilers. Well, um, it's not really a spoiler if, it's if you the trailer. Seen the trailer. I mean, but it's kind of hidden, I will say. Uh, Toys leaked him though. <laughs> yeah, but not everyone looks at the yeah, toys. Not everyone looks at Again, the toys you guys, are, you guys are focusing on because we're in this bubble. But the average person, I usually I go to like my brother or like the other people who don't look at this constantly. They had no idea. I I, I pointed that out. They're like, huh? Oh, I guess there's a third monster. Yeah, they didn't know. <laughs> right, right, yeah. Well, uh, my brother, my brother had a good idea, but like if I showed it to like another Godzilla fan, she was just like, oh. Oh, I think that might be him. Who knows? Mm -hmm. And I was like, but me knowing the toy release, I'm like, yeah, no, it's this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So I think it does its job. I mean, it's a non-spoiler for us because we notice it because we have like you know extra fixation eyes that are able to go in two direction, go in two directions. Yeah. <laughs> and we we have access to all the information because we're close to a forum that people post and provide this information. Where a lot of people don't, they just hear the big trailer, they hear the news, or hear a news article, mm -hmm. or like. Stuff like that, like Entertainment Weekly and such. Yeah. Oh, uh, they're but, all for getting spoiled by yeah. us. Uh, to finish this up, though, I'll just go over the brief final comments, which is more proofreading, less typos. Keep up the great work. Love the underdog stories. Maybe don't retire anyone. I don't want to see anyone go. More gift banners. And that is pretty much... Oh, yeah. Now nah, you guys have been doing great. So, nice job, everyone. You know, a nice... There are different things, different focuses but overall i think uh for the recommended changes we are listening we are implementing them and yeah uh keep your eyes out because there might be more on the way otherwise for me guys i do have to bow out at this point damn yeah so i uh, i'm glad i could input what i could and i'll catch you all another time actually uh oh boy this may be a weird decision on my part we may oh my gosh I can't believe I can't believe we may have to hold another KBC because we're already hitting two hours. I don't want to risk the recording going over because when it did that, I think that's what created the glitch in the system. Or it, that could be oh a factor. Lord. So I think we'll have to do another recording session another time. <laughs> so 
Yeah, I could probably just do... Uh, maybe we could just, like, record next week for the KDBCC. Or uh, proper... K like, this is the KDBCC Awards special. And then the next one can be just the, uh, like, regular KDBCC where we talk about the matches and whatnot. Sure. Yeah. So, I do like... Because I would like to have the matches have their own sort of spotlight. But... What's going on? No, uh, no I... We're thinking... Yeah, no. Uh, we're going to make this its own video. And then uh, we'll hold a KBCC next week for the actual matches. Okay, yeah, that that works. So, anyway, uh, wow. So ignore what I said at the beginning about that. Uh, I was not expecting this to take this long. Uh, but yeah, no, we'll see you guys. Wow, yeah, no, that's next time. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time for the KBCC that should also be out within the month. I hope. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm.